All right, what is going on, everyone? This is Dustfall Gaming, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. This will officially be the last episode on this map. Uh, we're gonna finish harvesting field number six. We're gonna finish offloading all of our grain in this episode, and then we will be done with this map for good. I don't think we'll be coming back. It's just not my my not my thing. Not anymore. So we're just quickly going to take this load of grain to the depot. Um, and as soon as we get it there, we're heading to field number six, as we already have the harvester on field six. Going and loading on. Or loading on canola. So yeah, field six should not take as long as fields five or uh, one and two did. So that's good. But hopefully, it will still give us a really good yield of canola because prices are down, and if we want to make some. Uh, profit, we're going to need a lot of it. Typically, the price of canola, I think, is above a thousand. Whatever the unit for money. I guess that's dollars, right? Oh. That's terrible. Fifteen miles too fast, and I had to pay fifteen hundred dollars. That's a bullshit ticket, if I've ever seen one. That's, yeah, that's utter bullshit. That might be a $500 ticket at the most. Especially seeing as it's kilometers an hour, it's not miles. If you're going 120 or something on the highway, you get pulled over and you only get a $250 ticket or something. It's not a ridiculous ticket over a thousand euros. Uh, can I go through here, please? Hello? Gate? Well, it's broken. So I guess I'll just have to jump over. Or ride over, or whatever I just did. Come here! Uh, I don't know why it shuts the harvester off when you dismiss the worker. Yeah, field six is not going to take that long. We're already this much into it. And we don't even have, uh... Oh, okay, we've got two-thirds of a grain tank. We're, uh... It's not going to take too long. I'm going to guess that we'll be at about 75% by the end. No, never mind. We'll be at about 80% by the end of this pass. So, sadly enough, it's not even quarters. For, uh, for every pass. And yes, I did see that the worker missed some over there at the end. So, uh, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll go back and get that when we get down there. If we make it down there. Those canola textures are bugging out a little. Yeah, so this field should only take us about 20 minutes, and then that'll give us time to unload all of our grain, sell all of our vehicles, and we will see what our final total is for uh, moving to the new farm. After selling this one... Uh, or yeah. About when we sell this one. Or no, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I, I lost my track of thought right there. We're just 
barely not gonna make it over to the other end. I also wish your harvester didn't just stop when you got to a hundred percent. Um, it should do that for workers, but I mean, if you're if you're going, you should be able to overfill your harvester, and if you overfill it too much, it should overflow. I think that would be really cool, because like as you can see, we had a lot of space left in that hopper. I could keep going for as long as I want before it overflowed. And then as soon as it overflowed, I would drive the truck up and offload into the truck. Alright, there's the first load of canola. Yeah, I don't think we'll be stopped here for very long, or harvesting here for very long. Especially seeing as the truck is half full already, we'll do our load and the worker will be halfway down the field by the time we get back from the depot again. Now, if I'm correct, uh, no, it's not solid, never mind. I thought it was solid brush for a moment, but it's just clippable. Take a sip of uh, my drink here, put it on cruise control, make sure he doesn't steer off. <sighs> Good old Mountain Dew. Man, that speeding ticket was ridiculous. That's kind of got me in a bad mood now. It is unfortunate, though, that this field is so... Uh, well, it's, it's smaller than it, it looks. Um, I don't think we'll be uh, doubling our profit from the wheat. Or the two wheat fields here, just because the field is twice as big. Especially with the canola prices going so low. That's a real bummer right there. Let's check if they've gone up any. Nope. Hopefully they do. Set the time on some uh, little bit of accelerated here, so maybe the prices can go up from the amount of wheat that we sold. Hopefully it doesn't start to snow here. Nah, it's not going up. Balls. Oh well. It doesn't matter. We'll still get a pretty good, uh, price for it compared to the wheat we'll get about eight thousand per trail or yeah eight thousand dollars per truck instead of the typical five though grain prices will probably go way down when we haul in two three loads of canola i don't think we'll even get three loads of canola God, this reminds me when uh, you had to use the uh, the really old Deuce Far. Um, I don't even remember what model number it was, but the really old Deuce Far in uh, Farm Sim 13. And you had to harvest those first two fields, and then if you went and bought field number three, which was the larger field beside the other two, it was just way too big for um, your... Uh, 
little deuce far harvester so one harvest of that and you would have to buy the uh second tier or third tier harvester up this little dawn reminds me of that dude's far i probably could get that far in um this game i just have to search for a mod for it and i could probably get hoggins dead too we could have farm sim 13 but in farm sim 17 that would be awesome i could probably find bjornholm westbridge hills actually i have a westbridge hills map but it's a little bit modified um I could probably find Bjornholm, Hagenstead, and whatever the uh, Farm Sim 2011 and maybe even the 2009 maps were in the uh, mod community somewhere. Wouldn't be that hard to find. Yeah, we're over halfway done this field, and oof, it's not looking good for our yields. I don't think we... Or do we have any canola in the silos? I'm not sure. I'll check when we uh, hop into the truck. Because I'm certain we won't make it all the way down this next pass. We have, holy, 30,000 liters of canola. That's, that's another three loads here. I guess we did never sell any of it off last harvest. can't really see it very much with the canola, but it is doing that flattening thing again. I, I just find that really funny for this truck for some reason. I don't know why. Get on the road here, and I'm not going to get another speeding ticket. And I'll just hop around these bushes onto the highway. And cruise control. And we're off. Again. If I'm correct, the speed camera is right there, right? Yeah. We just passed it. Wow, three kilometers too fast, and I had to pay 400 fucking pounds. That's fucking stupid. Points lost on this map for the stupid speeding ticket prices. That's garbage. I don't know why I took this route. The gate is broken.
see if it's still broken. Yeah. Guess we're going around. Back to doing it ourselves. I don't think we'll fill the truck up again. We might fill the combine up, though. Twice. No, once. We'll we'll fill it up once and then halfway full. That's my uh, that's my guess. So um, another thing that I did was I bought the uh, the coon pack. So if I go to like windrowers you guys might recognize it for having this in it it's the dlc pack that just came out for farm sim 17 so yeah that that'll be interesting to use in the uh, next farm i hope and i may or may not be crunching on doritos I'm hungry and I've been recording for three hours. I deserve to eat. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. I pressed the wrong button for cruise control again. Oh my god. Maybe I should just... Stop. <laughs> Let the worker go. Actually, I'm not even sure if we'll fill up the combine once again. No, we probably will. And we're barely going to get another thousand liters off of this. What does that sticker say? Oh, it says... Because it only goes 30 mile an hour. Okay.
another half a truck full. And let's go again. For the last, maybe, four pass, three passes. I'm thinking three. My bet is we don't fill the harvester. If we do, it'll be a miracle. Well, maybe this will be the second last pass. I doubt it, because it widens up here a little bit. Yeah, we're definitely not going to fill the harvester up again. But it looks like we are done the field almost. 21 minutes in. Yeah, that gives us time to do everything I said. Sell everything off. I'm hopefully going to drive what I can to the shop. I might just sell the plow sitting where it is. Uh, and the Lamborghini and stuff. But I'm not sure. It's probably what I'll do. I don't even really have to touch the controller for this part. And we are done with 3,000 liters in the combine. Not bad. Not the best, but not bad. Uh, yeah, we're going to go straight to the depot with this load because there wouldn't be a point in driving back to the farm to uh, pick up 2,000 liters of um, canola so that we can do a full load. this over by the bush and we will just drive it straight to the store when we need to and get in this and we'll start hauling stuff to the depot I didn't realize that was 
that the fence was actually solid. There are some spots in this map where it is and some where it isn't. I like how he enforces a speed limit and even when I'm going the speed limit, I'm still faster than the NPC vehicles. Prices are just dropping. Six thousand dollars. Yeah, maybe my seventy five thousand dollar estimate was a little bit high. Wheat is going down, canola is going down, soybeans going down. Grain prices are plummeting for this little town here. And I missed the turn. Because it's freaking invisible! <laughs> Glad to know that I'm actually finally done with this map. Just a little bit more driving. A little bit more selling, a little bit more making money, and we're done. <sighs> I might as well just keep on selling canola. Fence. Whoops. I'll run over some dude. Don't get charged, but I go three mile an hour over, I get charged four hundred fucking euros or whatever came up on the screen. So I'm still salty about that. Can you tell? Oh, prices must have gone up a little, or no, I had more in my uh, box than last time. Never mind. I can't drive with a crap in this game today. I got the harvester stuck on a couple things, moving it to field six, too. Almost on our last load of grain. I don't think we'll be selling anything other than the wheat and canola.
yeah, we're not selling barley. Or, well, yeah, we might as well sell the barley, but we're not going to, like, sell all of the frickin', uh, the, the potato, or I guess we don't even have any potato. We're not going to sell our corn, because the price is terrible for corn right now, anyway. Ooh, price, yeah. I'm glad this is our last load of canola. Wheat is going up again. Canola is half the price it should be. Mm, this is going to suck, this last load. That came out wrong. And that's it for canola. Our last load. Hopefully this brings the prices of the other grain up a little. Doubt it though. We'll do the one load of barley, the one load of wheat. And we'll go drop this off at the shop. Oh, fuck off! I wasn't even by the camera! Oh my god, that's what? Uh, $2,500 that we've lost now from, th like, stupid speeding tickets? $2,400? Whatever. That's really dumb. That's one of the reasons I want to get off of this map. That, and it's just too small, and where the fields are too small to make a, a, a living. Like, look at this. We made fifty thousand dollars this harvest. If I did, if I did this kind of a harvest on any other map, I'd make probably one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for one harvest on any other map that I have in my save. Just because the fields are bigger. And the prices are probably better at the time. Yep, still can't drive. Alright, uh, I'll sell the barley. Hopefully that'll bring up the price of wheat a little bit. How the economy works is, like, if you sell a lot of one amount of grain, the price for that grain goes down, but the price of other grains go up. Um, so you can technically rig the economy um, in this game if you really, really tried. Run over the cat. Second last load, and then we'll be driving all of our stuff to the uh, shop and selling it. And then saying bye bye, Anbach, Germany. Wow, we actually broke a hundred thousand dollars. So we've made seventy k. This harvest is all the money that we made for uh, this harvest and the last harvest was seventy thousand dollars so far. Isn't that sad? That's actually depressing. 
Some farmers make millions for some harvests. And yet we're making $75,000. So that we can sell off our farm. But at least the land value here is there. They might expand that town a little. They might need to buy some of the fields here. That's pro that, that's uh, why we're selling it to uh, Carmen or whatever for a uh, good million and a half dollars. Because the land value definitely more than the grain value on this map. Or in Germany here. Last load. Not getting caught by the frickin' speed camera again. Going straight to the shop and we're selling this. Oh. And we're selling the Dawn and then we're selling the T-150 and the T-150 fertilizer spreader and the John Deere because I don't think we need that John Deere it's not worth very much anyway we used it so much the values depreciated and it's dirty and it's gross looking and I don't know it's just not not the best tractor I don't even think it's got over 150 horsepower which is not enough for the map for uh, Sherwood Park All right, and I'm pretty sure I just parked stuff here. So I'll grab the Dawn and drive it over there too. Ah, I gotta take this headset off. If my mic quality changes, that's just because I've got my headset around my neck, but my mic is still beside my face. Um, it's just a really heavy headset. I have to take it off every so often because otherwise it hurts my ears and my head and stuff, so. Oh my god, I'm going to be glad to see this harvester go. Ram it right into their building before we leave. Nice. Did I turn it on? There we go. Now it's on. And just wasn't moving for a second there. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go pick up the cultivator which is behind the plow, which is terrible. Who did this? And by the way, I did get rid of the uh, manual attaching mod because it was shit. It, w it wouldn't let me attach and detach some things, so I just got rid of it, and it looks like we need this thing to pick up the frickin' plow for some reason. Who knows why. It's probably a hitch or something that the T-150 doesn't have for some reason. That or it's just broken. It looks to be broken. Because I can't pick it up with any of my tractors. Okay. And getting rid of the plow then. Sell it right there. Is that still running? No, it's not. Yeah, I can't hear the game now. Just took my headset off. But oh well. 
Are all of these pieces of equipment broken? Can I seriously not pick any of them up? Just because I got rid of that mod? Oh, that's terrible. Really? Really? And it's just on this map, too. I know that for a fact. I guess, do we have a front three-point on this? No, of course we don't. I was going to say, if we did, we could pick up the cedar and the, uh... The, uh... The, uh, cultivator all at once, but I guess not. Hopefully the cedar isn't broken. Oh, look, guess what's broken? Oh, wait, no, maybe I do have the manual. I do still have the manual attached mod. Jesus Christ. I guess I only turned it off for the one map. I thought I got rid of it altogether. Never mind. Alright, so I'm going to lift this back up. And I'm going to get into this tractor. And I'm going to left control, oh, left control F, or right control, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Nope. Control B, or no, control B, there you go. Now you're there, and now right control F, and let's see if it'll follow. Hey, it's working. No, I gotta be really careful here because that cedar is wider than my cultivator and I don't want that tractor getting stuck. This mod is awesome. Just the, the the follow me mod, I mean. Oh shit! Nope, don't start that. Mm, and we just turn onto the road here. I was trying to remember where the shop was. Hopefully that vehicle doesn't get in the way. And it didn't. Sweet. I'll just shove this right in here. And... Right control... F. Oh. Right control... F. Okay, never mind. I guess it doesn't work from the lead vehicle. Thought it did. Right control F. And I'll park this in sideways, so hopefully, hopefully it'll trigger both the tractor and the uh, cedar, maybe. Alright, um, now sell all this, uh, sell, uh, I hate how I have to walk away from it every time. The header's worth more than that combine is. That's funny. And there's nothing there. So what do we have left? Oh, no, 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 no. We have two uh, pre pressure washers, which I'm not going to sell. Because technically they're not even mine. The Lamborghini, which I'm just going to sell. And then the sprayer, which I'll drive. To the shop. Because it's not that far of a drive. And I really wasn't feeling like setting up a uh, three tractor follow me convoy because I know there'd be something happening and one of them would break or whatever. So that's why I didn't attach this guy to the other three. Finally getting to see the end of this thing too. It was It was a cool idea but... 
Nah, it's not as cool as it was when I first got it. Is it in? That's what she said. All right, um. And that's it. So, teleport to the truck. Um, and I guess we'll see ourselves out. Um, now, I'm sorry for the two almost hour long episodes. I know this could have been four normal episodes, but I just wanted to get off this map because I knew if I didn't get off of this map soon I'd find another map and then I'd be like oh hey I bet I can use this one for the let's play and then it's like oh I'm gonna but what about using the oh fuck off. zero miles too fast and I've got to pay 124 euros screw you anyway um and I was gonna be or and the blah, blah, and then it was gonna be like uh oh but what about the other map and I was just gonna have a tough time deciding which map I actually wanted to use so um Anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed the episodes made on this map. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, of course. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like me, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.